In this recording, we will go through setting up your customer portal and giving your customers access. First, go to your settings and from the settings tab, click company information. At the bottom of the company information page, under the customer portal section, enter in a prefix for the URL that will be .serviceworkportal.com. Most commonly people use their website URL. Once that is established, you can then open a new tab in your web browser. Enter in your prefix .serviceworkportal.com. The logo that you've uploaded to your account will show here, otherwise it will just have a text version of your company name and then your customers will be able to sign in with the email address that they have in their Fieldwork account plus their Fieldwork account number. For instance, if I go back to the Fieldwork account and click Customers, and when I go into one of these customers with an email address, you can see the email address in here. So I have orders at anstarproducts.com with the account number 20014. For the customer to access their information, they type in the email that is associated with their account plus their account number. Once they hit login, they will be able to view all of their information in, in its entirety or separated by location if they have multiple locations. They will also be able to click locations here as well. And from there, either if you're looking at all of their invoices for the entire account or by location, this will allow them to see everything that is outstanding or paid. And then in service history, they will be able to view as a read-only document all of their information uh, for service, completed services. If, for instance, you have the mapping feature turned on in your account and the service was completed on a mobile device using the mobile app, the customer portal will provide your customers with a map of where that service was in fact completed. So it gives a second layer of accountability when your customers do not see you enter their facility, for instance, for restaurants that are serviced early in the morning or through the evening hours when employees are not available. The customer portal also provides trap and trend reports, so pest trend analysis. If you do have stations that you are recording data using the barcode system, this will provide your customer with appropriate graphs. This particular account does not seem to have any data right now for this date, but if I filter back a few months and hit filter report, I now have 183 traps and here are my graphs and then once I hit print, the printed report will provide your customers with four specific graphs on pest activity in addition to that a summary of pest activity and evidence plus a detailed spreadsheet on everything that has occurred at that property so it gives your customer the date range the company name the number of traps all of the capture rates capture types evidence types plus a legend and a summary and details for every trap on site. Returning back to the customer portal, the last bit is paying by credit card. If you have the credit card enabled in your account for through Stripe, your customers will then be able to enter their card information here and manage their accounts. In addition to the Stripe account, your customers will be able to pay via PayPal, again, if that is established in your account.